When can I ever feel sympathy for a cheater? My boyfriend, who's 28, recently cheated on me, and I'm 26. I genuinely want to work things out, but he's adamant about breaking up and moving on. I'm at a loss and feel responsible for what happened. We've been together for five years and have lived together for the past three. I love him deeply and truly believe he's everything I've ever wanted. Over the last couple of years, though, things have taken a turn I didn't expect. For reasons I can't quite explain, I found myself waking up one day with no motivation to do anything, and that feeling stuck with me for two long years. My boyfriend has been my rock through all of this. He did everything he could to support me, arranging therapy sessions, picking up extra work when I lost my job, and taking on a second job to make ends meet. Even took care of the household chores and never once complained. He showed me endless patience and love. Despite all his efforts and the fact that I've seen multiple therapists and tried different medications, nothing seemed to help. I've had countless medical tests and doctors have told me I'm in perfect health. My last therapist even suggested that my issues might be more psychological, implying that I might be taking advantage of my boyfriend's kindness. This situation has left me heartbroken and confused. I never wanted to hurt him, and I'm struggling to understand how things got so messed up. If anyone has been through something similar or has advice on how to approach this, I'd really appreciate your insights. I told him afterwards and he booked me an appointment with a new therapist for the following week. During this time it broke my heart to see my boyfriend come home after working 12 to 16 hours and started to clean up and do everything around the house. I wanted to help but just couldn't. I don't know why. I just constantly felt drained. Our bedroom during this time also came to a complete stand, still as I wasn't in the mood, every plan he made I didn't want to do. Dinner, plans with friends, vacations. All had to be cancelled because I didn't want to. His whole life basically for the last two years consisted of him going to work and coming home and taking care of me, taking me to appointment in therapy. Last week Friday he came home and saw the house, I tried to not make a mess in the house but failed at that. He looked at the mess in the house and turned around, walking out saying he's going for a drink as he can't deal with this anymore. I started to call and message him because his last sentence got me scared but he didn't answer his phone. He came back Saturday morning, saying we needed to talk. He told me he can't do this anymore, as he is feeling that I'm choosing not to get better at this point, and he has done everything in his power and breaking himself in the process and he is done. He also told me that he had a one-night stand with a girl he met at the bar. I wanted to get angry and shout at him, but I couldn't. I know he didn't cheat before this, because I have full access to all of his devices and had his location 24-7. He has never lied to me or hidden anything from me since I known him. One of the reasons I fell in love with him was his honest even in emotional situations. He asked me to please stay quiet until after he is done speaking. He let it all out, everything he has been bottling up over the last couple of months. Hearing him say all those things what he has been through, and the thoughts in his head, just broke my heart all the pain he was going through, and the fact that he felt like I was using him as a wallet and a servant. After he was done talking he said we should break up. Even though it was a one-night stand, and it happened out of drunkenness and frustration, he still can't believe he did that. He doesn't see this relationship going any further. He hasn't once blamed me for anything or said it's my fault for him cheating. He took responsibility and took all the blame and hasn't tried to justify anything. I truly understand and want to work this out. I don't want to lose him. He is literally a one in a million man. I know it's not my fault for him cheating, but I can't help feel like I pushed him towards it. I believe 100% if I was a better partner he wouldn't have cheated. I can see the guilt on his face when he looks at me as he can't even look me in the eyes. He moved himself into the spare bedroom and still continues to do everything around the house. I want to work things out as I don't see myself without this man. I can't lose him. I know I have to get better and take some of the strain away from him. What do I do? How can I convince him that I will get better and that I'm not just using him as a wallet? Sorry if this is long or scrambled my thoughts are all over the place. How do I convince him to stay together? I love this man and don't want to lose him. Comments. Sell outside a bit 1971.
I mean, no offense, but you've basically had zero progress in two years, so how exactly do you think you're going to convince him that you're suddenly going to get better? Ali is eight. This, and if she does get better in response to this, it means she was capable of doing so all along, and just decided not to until he hit his breaking point, which would feel a lot worse if I were in his shoes. A.T. Hing under her bed? Exactly. He's done. It's too little too late at this point, but even if it wasn't he should still leave for one of two reasons. She's either telling the truth, in which case nothing is fixed, and it's just going to be more of the same. She might could try for a bit, but she won't be able to manage it, and will slip back. She does change, and she will have to admit there, was nothing wrong with her, and it was in her control all along. His unhappiness and pain just wasn't enough of a motivator for her, but apparently her losing him as her caretaker and AKM is proper motivation. In which case, fuck her, he should definitely leave. What's me password 73? He cheated to put his new future into your reality. He did all he could, he's done. You had five years to change, let him go. Oh, peace, replies to comments. He told me he can't do this anymore, I think the above, is the key to why he feels he needs to break up with you. Honestly, he sounds like he gave this relationship everything he had, and I'm sorry to tell you, I think he just wants out. He really wanted to see you get better, he really wanted to figure this out with you, but it just didn't work out. I think neither of you are currently in a place to revive this relationship, he is tired, and you're going through your own thing. It's time to keep putting in the work yourself, with therapists and slasher doctors, to figure out your best path forward in life. And I think this bit is worth repeating. I don't think either of you are in a position to revive this relationship. Neither of you are in the right headspace. I'm so sorry you have this unexplained thing happening to you. It can't be easy. Not at all. I really hope you find answers. I do as well. I don't want to justify his actions, but I understand. I truly do. I don't see a reason to continue trying if he is not here with me. What else do I have to try for? Will the next person treat me half as good as he did? I don't want anyone else other than him. I don't want to stay to get out of convenience. I truly do love him. Nothing is keeping you from fixing what's wrong. You're choosing not to work, clean up the house, etc. If you want to fix things, then start there. I have tried, but I end up making things worse in the end. It's not hard to take care of the house. As for work, start with an easy part-time job. Security officer is as easy as it gets. You sit in a chair or just walk around. Anybody can do it and it's low stress. I did that yesterday. I did the dishes, but he didn't even notice. People make choices. He could have chosen just to break up with you instead of cheating, but he cheated. It's overall you can do is accept it at this point. I don't want to justify his actions, but I can truly understand why. I want to work it out, I am able you'll get past, that if he just gives me a chance. Can I convince him too, or is it too late? At least if he leaves you won't have the option of laying there. You'll have to get up to live. He may as well be bringing you heroin every day. Of course you want him to stay. You get to lay there like a lump. Once he's gone you'll actually genuinely have to get up and do something about your situation. It may not be your fault this is happening to you, but it is your responsibility alone, and you have no right to do this to anyone. You've run this poor man ragged, and are draining him financially as well. Are there plans to pay him back? Was all this alone, or is he just out of luck? In the beginning, I didn't want to start therapy due to the cost, but he said do focus on getting better so he will cover it. That is when he got the second job, and started to work longer hours to pay for everything. He hasn't once asked me to pay him back anything. Answer me this. What have you done since Saturday? Have you tried to clean anything? Have you applied for a job? Have you tried to speak to your therapist again about your obvious depression? Have you done literally anything to show him you will change? I did the dishes and wanted to do the laundry this morning. I woke up around 11 and everything was already done. I did ask him yesterday to leave something for me to do. He just said he has a long day today at work and doesn't want to come home to a dirty house, but he will think about leaving some things for me. But he hasn't everything has been done. Are you the XBF by any chance? You are very defensive over single opinion? My boyfriend doesn't have Reddit. 
Reddit was suggested by a friend of mine. Nothing like you described has happened. He made the appointments for me, I choose the therapists. If I didn't like one he made another appointment for a different one until I found someone I liked. I didn't put this in the post but we haven't been intimate for 18 months and he stuck by me, understanding, listening to me. Never got angry, never made me feel like crap, he hasn't manipulated me like you suggested. He has been nothing but kind to me. That is why I say I understand why he cheated. Am I happy about it? No, I'm not. Not at all, but I can't really blame him. It's not an excuse, but I do think all the frustration over the last two years and him getting drunk made it a lot easier. It was a one-night stand with a girl he met, he hasn't cheated and he doesn't have a girlfriend on the side. I had his phone in my possession since Saturday, and no messages from any girl or anything. No deleted messages or gaps in conversations. I 100% believe it was a lapse in judgment on his part, after all of this that is it. He is still in the wrong, I'm not denying that, and I do apologize, but your comments about him rubbed me the wrong way. What did you provide in this relationship? Love and support, but the last two years I have been nothing but a drain on him. I can see why he want to leave. Sick erat scriptum. Will the next person treat me half as good as he did? And there it is. Update a few hours later. He didn't actually cheat on me. I got a call from his friend saying he left his watch over at his house. I asked what did he mean because BF told me he went out alone. According to his friend he called him on Friday to have some drinks and got way too drunk and crashed at his house. I thought he was covering for my boyfriend but he sent me the video footage of them returning to his house drunk and falling over each other. Now I'm sitting here wondering if he really wants to get rid of me, so bad, that he is willing to make himself a bad guy, before breaking up with me. Comments Jack Quentin Hannah of weird how she loves him so much, but the only thing she really says about him is how good he takes care of her. No Proposal 7628 That's what she loves being taken care of. Unholy hot dog The therapist even clocked it and the girl won't admit it. TX person. That one therapist really hit it on the head. College prestige. Dude had to make up the cheating to try to get her to leave, and it still wouldn't work. Weird boofed in a good way. That's sad on so many levels. Treehorn 8. Sad part is even if he cheated, I would still sympathize with him more. OP sounds like a nightmare to live with, 